What's going on you guys? It is about 5.30 a.m. I just left my house and I am on my way to go surprise, well, go pick up a surprise gift for my wife. It is November 3rd and for those of you that don't know, it is iPhone day and I am going to try to make it to my Apple store by 6 a.m. and pick up this iPhone 10. So yeah, uh, to my wife who's gonna see this for the first time when she watches this video as it goes on to YouTube, I love you and happy early birthday. So it's 5.57 a.m. I just got to the mall. They opened up the door and let people in right in front of me. So hopefully there's enough iPhones here for me to get one. Um, honestly, I just really want to surprise my wife with this. So yeah, hopefully we can get it. So here's more of the line. I just talked to the uh, Apple Store employee and he said that he believes they should have enough. So should be good to get one for the wife. The Apple Store employees handing out drinks and snacks. This is phenomenal. The mission was successful. Got a brand new iPhone 10 for the wife. Hopefully she likes her early birthday present, but it is bright outside. Yes, it is 8.30, so about three hours after I left my house this morning, we have the iPhone 10 in the bag. Hopefully she wants the space gray, that's all they had. But yeah, I am going to uh, show her this video and let her unbox it for me. So hopefully you guys will like her unboxing style. I'm gonna cut this together and kind of, uh, you know, post it to YouTube as unlisted, record her watching it, and then, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So with that, I have to go to work. So uh, I will see you guys later. Hey, Josh, thanks. I was pointing toward the video for Happy Talk. Go ahead. Yeah, the thing that I made. I know what the Hackintosh is, but... I haven't made another video of why I'm not going to use it anymore, and I need oh. you to watch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so today we're going to be talking about something that's probably not very interesting to most of you. This is my Hackintosh drive, so this has macOS 10.12.6 on it, Sierra. Um, I installed an iTunes update on this. Uh, yesterday and cannot get my computer to reboot. Uh, can't get it to boot into Mac OS X, so I was going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I don't like about Hackintosh and why I'm going to be switching back to the Windows platform exclusively. Just kidding, Michelle. This video is not about my Hackintosh. It is about your oh, early birthday. Oh my word. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> What's going on you guys? This is my wife Michelle. She watched the video that I made. I'll clip some of that in, but I told you I was gonna let her do the unboxing. She said she wouldn't do it unless I was here with her. So I'm gonna turn it over to her. Go ahead. All right, I would just like to start by saying I was definitely surprised. I told him about 55 times not to get it, so I should have known. All right, so just open it. Yeah. That's the exciting part, the peeling? No, the peeling on the phone. Oh. Although that's pretty exciting too. Alright. I always get these and I never use them. Yeah, maybe one day they'll be worth money. Dom collects his. Really? Yeah, he has a big stack of every Apple product he's ever bought. He has those two stickers with. Zelda's college fund? Yeah. 
the fun part. Yeah, so hold that close to the microphone. Alright, so your fancy new iPhone 10. The fingerprint magnet apparently, so. A magnet? Or? Yeah, like it's just gonna be a magnet of fingerprints. Like it's just gonna Oh, I thought you get a lot I was of like, it. I thought I had facial recognition. Okay. What else is in the box? Headphones. Are they fancy headphones with a lighting connector? Um Yes. Right. Okay. Is that the USB? Yeah, that's the lightning connector. Then you've got your lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter on the back. And then in typical Apple Fair, you get your lightning cable, which is way too short to use, like for anything other than at your desk or something. But yeah, then you get your power brick. So all of those things, what's in the box? All right, now, before we turn it on, I have to put her SIM card in there, so I'm gonna do that real quick, and we're gonna power this device on. Luckily, the SIM tray is in the same spot as it was on the last one. Get rid of that. So just a little side note, they uh, ran out of Verizon models, and like I said in my Google Pixel video, we use Verizon. But uh, everywhere says that if you have Verizon, you can use the Sprint iPhone. So we're gonna give this a shot right here. So here we go. You can turn it on, hold the power button. It's not the power button anymore, that's the side button. So uh, to take a screenshot, you're gonna hit this and this. And then to power the device off, the power and volume down. But it's the same button that you would normally press, I believe. I have no idea what you just said. Perfect. Yeah. Me neither. Alright, so you can let it go. Here we go. Get you all situated. Put this back in the box. Oops. Sorry, Bruce Wayne. And put this back with my Pixel stuff. My desk is a total mess behind me, but that's okay. Hello! Hola. All right, well, that's the iPhone 10 unboxing. I hope you guys had fun watching me go through my rigmarole of BS to get this phone this morning and surprising my wife with it this afternoon. And hopefully she still loves me even though I donated a kidney to buy this phone. Hello, I'm a panda. I love you. Mwah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Maybe she'll come back and give her review on it, but I'm not gonna use this phone, so don't expect to see a review from me. That's all I got. Leave a like down below, comment, subscribe to my channel, watch me grow, hopefully in subscribers and not in weight, and I will catch you guys later.